These Ethiopian children pray with the Torah, a part of the Hebrew Bible. They are some of Ethiopia's last remaining Jews. About 4,000 Jewish Ethiopians, who call themselves Beta Israel, live here in Gondor, a small city in the north. This school teaches children about their Jewish faith, but also prepares them for a possible move to Israel. If they learn Hebrew and if they learn about their religion, it'll help. They'll create mutualism and integrate within the society there and support one another in all matters. Beta Israel members want Israel to give them a visa to emigrate, but some in Gondor have been waiting more than 20 years. Ashenafi Asefa moved from the countryside to Gondor 12 years ago. Now he's one of the synagogue's religious leaders. He explains the origins of Judaism in Ethiopia. We came to Ethiopia because God dispersed the Beta Israel into the four cardinal directions. So we came down from Egypt. We came here following the shores of the Blue Nile. Others went to America, Germany and many other countries. Under Israeli law, Jews are allowed to move to the country. But the Israeli government doesn't view the Beta Israel of Gondor as Jewish under strict religious law. That's because the government says they are descendants of Ethiopian Jews who were forcibly converted to Christianity in the distant past. Uh, many of them actually converted or their parents converted to Christianity for various uh, reasons. And now they, are, uh, they wish to return to be part of the Jewish people. Uh, they are not considered as Jews, so they, are, they already live as Jews, but officially they are not yet converted, so they are not yet Jews. Ashenafi Asefa says this is discrimination. Some say we're not Jewish and there are no more Jews here. They say we're lying, that we're just pretending so we can go there. They think we'll make the religion impure. But the only one to know the truth is the God that created us. Many of the Beta Israel community have family living in Israel. The Israeli government has been gradually allowing Ethiopia's remaining Jews to emigrate under family reunification laws. But it's not clear when people will be allowed to go, leaving some families split for more than a decade. Being alone is very difficult. My husband was raised by his mother together with his six brothers, but now five live in Israel. He was very sad when they got separated. Working as Akalu moved to Gondor from her farm with her husband and children after someone burnt down their crops. Her life in Gondor is tough, but she's grateful her daughter can attend the town's Hebrew school. With knowledge about her religion, she will marry someone who has the same faith and follow the religious practices. I hope she will one day live with her family and her people. I really hope that for my children. Despite the struggle and wait, hope is high among Gondor's Jews that one day they will be allowed to leave. They just don't know when.